What's up, family? It's Professor T, and we are back in with some more reacting to undiscovered musicians. So I have a submission here from Facebook from one of the groups that I'm in. This is from Gen X. I love that name, by the way. That's such a cool name, Gen X. I like that. And I've looked her up a little bit, and evidently she's from upstate New York. Shout out to upstate New York. And she, um, from looking at her music, she does like a uh, electronic music, which is very cool. You already know how I am with electronic music. I love all that stuff. House music, trap, EDM, all that stuff. We've delved into that a little bit on this channel here with, with uh, some of the beats I've done. Um, I'm getting better at trap EDM stuff. Go check out the trap EDM of uh, Easy, by the way. A little bit of self-promotion on these. I'm so loud. So, with Gen X, I selected the song Dragon Chase because I there's actually several that she has, but I selected this song, and uh, this is one that I think would be a good one to do a reaction to. And uh, since this is going to be some electronic music, I got the glow sticks ready. Oh, I got to dim the lights now. Hold up. I got to dim the lights. I got the glow sticks ready. And uh, let me see. It's kind of late at night, but it's worth getting cussed out cause, because I got to do a little two-step to this one. So without any further ado, let's react to Gen X Dragon Chase. Let's go. Okay. Okay. What? What? Okay. When they do that, when they do that, when they do that. All right, I'm gonna sit. I gotta sit down so you can actually hear the my commentary, y'all. Actually, hear the commentary to it. I'll be getting some angry text messages tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't even say nothing yet. Alright, I have to start saying some stuff now. I just, this point, this point I'm just being silly. I'm enjoying the music though. So with this right here though, this is a this is kind of like an industrial type of a beat right here. That's what this that's what just going on here with the style to put you guys on a game. Industrial. Cause I know my electronic music and all that. I know the different types of electronic music. So that's why I would consider this kind of industrial. The sounds this on here is cool too. It kind of puts me in the mind of like the PlayStation One games from back in the day, like the, like this, like it, it makes me want to go snowboarding, but like in 32-bit graphics, you know. That's what it kind of puts me in the mind of. It, it's like an old school, like definitely like from the 90s, like or, or like a race car. Like I want to go drive with some car with some underglow and some rims that's way too big. Like that's kind of the, the mood that this puts me in. Like I like it. It definitely is like that kind of extreme sports X Games athlete soundtrack right now. I think that you know this is cool though. Like I mean, I definitely like I like this. We'll go, go check. I got like I know I can check out Gen X if I need some like X Games music and something to get me pumped up with it. You can listen to like a nice little drum sample going in the background. If you listen close to hear like how it's looped, you can hear like that there's like a, that was like a drum sample that's going on there. It actually it's got a lot of detail too, if you listen like there's like a little little percussion samples in there that's been chopped up. But right here you can hear what this comes back in at. You can hear like there's a little bit of like a like a synth sound that's in there that I think was actually extra. I don't think that was on the I think I that she put that little synth sound in there. That's cool. Little sound effects in the background. It definitely moves, like it definitely evolves, you know. It's danceable too. And now I'm concentrating because I'm trying to commentate on it too. <laughs> it's just being silly the whole time, you know what I'm saying? The 
it fell out. Nice, man. Shout out to Gen X, though. She was bringing it on hers, man. Bringing it. That's what I'm talking about. Bring it back to me. All right. Oh, yeah. We get the light so you can see my beautiful face. So, reactions to that. Like I said, this was a nice little change of pace from the other submissions that I had. So, on this one right here, like I said, nice little industrial kind of electronic music right here. You know, very experimental. Lots of good sounds on there. Very creative. A very good remix. And, um... For the critiques, I'll we'll start with some critiques because this is educational. As I always point out when I'm doing the critiques, it's nothing personal. This is an educational tutorial channel here, so I always try to point out anything that I hear um, that could be an improvement for somebody else just trying to do the same thing. So, on this one, mm, any critiques I would have? Uh, it could use a little bit more bass, but that's more of a preference thing than it is a critique. I mean, anything, I mean, other than that, um, I would say, maybe this is what I would say. Now, this is something that I'm going to point out before I say this. It's par for the course for this style of electronic music. It's par for the course. So, like, there's some, <coughs> excuse me, I need something to drink real quick. Time out. <coughs> Exhausted from all that glow stick dancing. But anyways... I was going to say, it's par for the course with this type of electronic music. And I've heard music that is way worse about this than um, this song is. But sometimes with this type of music, it can get a little bit repetitive. Because it's like, when you're sampling and kind of like cutting things up like that, sometimes that loop, that's the kind of basis of the song, it kind of get repetitive. Um, like I said, this is not bad with doing that at all. It's just that... That's the critique that I would do. So I was going to say to help with that for electronic music, what you could do as you do that, change something about it as the song, as, as the song goes on. You know, do something to that loop. Rather, it's you put a little filters on it and you take out some bass from it a little bit. The, and the loop, I'm talking about that. Do, 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 do. You know what I'm saying? So I would say you could put a little bit of filters on it, take the bass out of the butt part, and maybe bring the bass back in. And you take the highs out. So you do like a little bit of stuff like that. And that, that can sometimes help just so that you can stay engaged. You did a really good job, however, with um, making it go somewhere. Because definitely, like I said, there's a lot of detail if you listen to that. Like the little percussion that came in and out. You know, there's other little sounds that came in and out. So definitely you kept it interesting and kept kept it moving throughout the whole song. It definitely um, never got to a point where it's, it dragged. And um also, too, this has a little bit of like a lo-fi vibe to it, too. So I respect that. Um, that's cool with electronic music nowadays, doing a lo-fi vibe to it with um, kind of, a, you know, what I mean, like it has that 10-bit sampling kind of a feel. So that's cool. And, um, yeah, that's all I got to say. The other thing, too, I will call out is just dope to see more women that's making music because I never realized what a problem that it was until recently because <laughs> like now that I've been trying to find like more women in music that do electronic music things like that I realize it's not enough so definitely shout out to that too I just want to point that out shout out to seeing women do music man I, I love seeing that so that's just awesome. Also, too, I like it in the picture. You got the Casio Tone keyboard. I like that. I remember the Casio Tone keyboards. You and I might be dating ourselves on that one, though. But, hey, shout out to Casio keyboards. So I'm going to cut it back to past Professor T. And we're going to show where this ranks in the Professor T billboard chart. Thanks. Dragon Chase. Where do I rank this? You know what? I'm going to go higher than Faith Quinn's. I, I just prefer this one. I think it had a little more um, energy. I think this one... Um, how high do I want to rank it in my top 20 right now? On my top 20, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go number 16. That's a pretty good place right there. That's in the top 20 right now. So these are going to slide up and down. So might go higher, might go lower. 
but that's a pretty good spot right there. So I rank it at number 16. It's a little bit above the 33 dogs. Mr. Lion, I like this a little bit more than I like that song because that one, you know, this is a little bit faster, a little more upbeat. It's something that's a little bit more different. It's not quite as, you know, generic or um, unmemorable as some of the lower ranked songs. I don't rank it quite as high as I do um, BT for real. That one was uh, the female hip hop artist from, I believe she was from Austin, Texas. And her uh, kind of a, a female answer to Gangsta Rap song. So it's just a little bit below that song right there. But 16, that's still a very solid place. And once again, this chart is just basically going on my personal preference as I listen to these every day. So these are subject to change and people are going to slide up and down. So definitely make sure you guys come back. Anybody that watches this who's uh, I've reviewed your track over the course of the year. And uh, you'll see there might be a little bit of movement. So to Gen X and to all of you watching at home, I love what you do. I enjoyed watching this and I hope that you did too. And I wish nothing but peace and love to all of you. And I'll see you in the next one.